Who's ready for some vegan and vegetarian recipes? I know I certainly am because tonight I'm cooking with Tam. I'm going to show you how to make a delicious vegan meat sauce that would pair perfectly with any dish. So without further ado, let's introduce these ingredients and get to cooking. First one up, we are going to need some pasta, of course, of any choice. Choose whatever pasta you prefer for this recipe. For our seasonings, we're going to need adobo, garlic powder, onion powder, basil, thyme leaves, rosemary, Italian seasoning. However, if your Italian seasoning consists of all of these three ingredients that I just mentioned, which is the basil, thyme, and rosemary, no need for these three ingredients. We're also going to need some minced garlic or fresh garlic along with diced tomatoes in a can, tomato sauce, tomato paste, some better than bouillon. We're going to be using vegetable bouillon for this particular recipe because it is vegan, along with an onion, some plant-based meat, whatever your favorite brand may be. To bring out the flavors of this dish even more, we are going to add some Cooking with Tammy Cajun seasoning. With all of that being said, let's get to cooking. First thing we're going to do is remove the top and the bottom of this onion. Of course, we're going to toss this part. Going to take our knife and we're just going to score the onion just like that in order to remove the first layer. Once we're done, we're going to give it a quick rinse. Because this is a large size onion, we're only going to use half of the onion. As you can see, this is a lot so far once we start to break it down. This is perfect. So far, this is about, let's say, half a cup of an onion. And that's all we're going to need because we're only going to be rocking out with about 12 ounces of impossible beef. And for those of us who are not like accustomed to working with impossible beef, basically it's just a vegetarian or vegan plant-based meat. I think I said that earlier in the introduction. I'm going to start off with adding my pasta to this water. Allow the water to come to a rolling boil. It's going to work out so much better. You don't have to break the pasta unless you want to, but trust me, once everything starts to cook, the pasta is going to break on down and situate itself in the pot. Let's start this party off with adding a small drizzle of oil to this hot skillet. We're going to add our onions. We're going to add some garlic. doesn't matter if it's bottled or finely chopped fresh garlic. Let's toss it all around, cook these onions on down until they're nice and translucent. And our garlic is fragrant and slightly toasted. Since garlic tends to burn really easily, I'm going to continue to toss it around, incorporate the onions with the garlic, move it around back and forth. Just in case you're curious, right now I'm cooking on medium heat. We're also going to add some better than bouillon vegetable base, which is going to give our onions and garlic delicious flavor. Because it's a paste, you want to get in there and incorporate it really, really well. Make sure the paste is incorporated throughout the onions and the garlic. Let's add our plant-based protein. Let's use our spatula, get in there, break it down really, really good. Let's incorporate some of our seasoned onions and garlic into the protein. The great thing about using this plant-based protein versus, let's say, ground chicken, ground beef, or even ground pork, is it's going to cook through a lot quicker, which is a great thing for some of us. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and grab my ground meat chopper and get in there and chop it on up to speed up the process just a bit. Once I'm finished, I'm going to go back in there with my spatula. We're actually cooking the impossible beef until it's nice and brown and pretty much heated. This part right here should honestly take about, let's say, cooking on medium heat, depending on your stove also, whether or not if you're using gas or electric, maybe about five to eight minutes. I believe this is my first vegetarian recipe on this channel. However, if you want to see more vegan and vegetarian recipes, don't forget to hit that like button and definitely comment in the bottom. Tammy, I need some more vegan and vegetarian recipes. Let's introduce some adobo to this recipe. We're going to add some onion powder along with garlic powder. Now, you added onions and you also added finely chopped garlic. Why are you adding both? 
simply because it's going to bring out a different flavor profile. Let's add some dried basil. Let's add a small amount of dried thyme and Italian seasoning. We're going to combine it really well because we want all of the herbs and seasonings to stand out in this recipe. Once we're done, we're going to add some of my Cooking with Tammy's Cajun seasoning. If you haven't purchased your Cooking with Tammy's seasoning, I definitely leave a link at the bottom of this video so you can purchase your seasonings. We're going to mix it on in once again. And we're going to follow it up by adding some of our fire roasted tomatoes. Now here's the thing. It doesn't really make a difference whether or not if you're going to add infused tomatoes or just plain tomatoes in the can. Fold the tomatoes on in. Adding the tomatoes is going to give it a nice acidity contrast. This part right here is really simple. All I'm doing is folding the tomatoes on in. We're also going to add some tomato sauce. I think it's so convenient that my local grocery store sells these small boxes of tomato sauce because for this recipe, this small box of tomato sauce is going to go a long way. To make this recipe stand out even more, I'm going to add about a tablespoon of tomato paste. Let's add some water, get in there with the spatula, stir it on up. Adding the water is going to release anything that's stuck to the bottom of the pan. Once we're finished putting this recipe together, you're not going to be able to tell that this is not meat and it's actual plant-based. Because when I tell you all of the flavors, not to mention the texture, everything is going to be on point. You're not going to be able to tell the difference, even with a picky eater. Even someone who's not into plant-based recipes, so to speak, and, you know, they want the real thing, let me tell you, allow them to try this recipe and you're going to see what I'm talking about. Off camera, I went ahead and added a small amount of agave nectar to pull the recipe together to pair with the acidity contrast of the tomatoes. However, if you don't have agave nectar, you can always add a small pinch of sugar to balance the flavors on out. Since this dish is going to be paired with pasta, let's reduce the flame, allow it to come to a slow simmer, and in the meanwhile, let's check on our pasta. According to the cooking instructions for this particular brand of pasta, it's about 20 minutes. So we're going to go ahead and strain this pasta on off. We're going to be plating in a couple seconds, but in the meanwhile, let's chop some fresh parsley on up. Perfect. That's going to work as our garnish. And we're going to take a good scoop of our perfectly cooked pasta. We're going to take some of our vegan Beyond Meat. Just stir that on up just a bit. We're going to go in with a ladle, get a good scoop of it. And we're just going to scoop it onto our pasta, just like that. And we're going to finish it off with some fresh parsley. And guess what, guys? Dinner is served. As always, I'm your girl cooking with Tammy. Definitely give this recipe a try. Let me know what you think. I can guarantee you it's absolutely delicious. You're not even going to realize the difference between actual ground meat and this Beyond Meat recipe. Definitely turn on those notification bells, and I will catch you in another video. Talk to you later. Bye, guys.